Mummies of the world are some of the most powerful images of ancient history. Practiced by some cultures even today, the act of wrapping a body in bandages is best known thanks to Egyptians. But other cultures have their own take on this morbid yet essential activity. Here's a world tour of the planet's most integrating mummy makers. Both bodies it isn't all lands of linen and sarcophagi. Several centuries ago in Ireland, the diseased river sometimes left sinking in a bog. People probably thought this murky grave would hide the evidence. In fact, it preserved the deposits in showroom condition by archaeological standards at least. How does the path work its magic? A lack of oxygen fends off bacteria. Though anything, genetic is long gone. Bog bodies aren't a rich source of DNA, so experts can only make general guesses about the unfortunate person's identity based on diet and lifestyle. National Geographic writes, Some scientists think that the Irish bog bodies were farmer kings. Toast into the bog, because they failed to protect their people from disease or famine. Examples of peat-packed bodies have also been found in Scandinavia, with cases such as Denmark's two-lunged man achieving bizarre fame in many a classroom. Black mummies The Egyptians may have the monopoly on mummies, but there are older examples. The mighty Atacama Desert has a cemetery in northern Chile, which is one resting place of the mysterious Chincoro culture. Chincoro mummy of a body on display at the San Miguel de Azapa Archaeological Museum. Erica and Perinacota region, Chile. Living in Chile and Peru around 9,000 years back, they apparently sustained themselves by hunting, gathering, and fishing. They also created some distinctive looking mummies known as the black mummies. These are thought to predate Egyptian practice by approximately 2,000 years. The black came from the manganese metal paint used as a final coat after the body has been prepared. Mummification was elaborate and macabre with the disease turned into a coin of jar. Head and limbs were removed and the insides taken out with a hole made in the skull to get at the brain. As described by the National Geographic, the skin was peeled away from the body and reattached later like taking off and putting on a sock. Smithsonian.com picks up this story saying they would then fill out the body with plants, clay and wood before sewing the skin back on and covering the face with the mask. Just because the mummies are ensigned, believed to be the world's oldest doesn't mean they aren't affected by the modern world. Changing weather patterns are believed to be contributing to deterioration as humidity in their formerly dry environment rises. A museum is being built to prevent the black mummies becoming puddle of black ooze. China's mummy While not associated with mummies in popular thinking, China has provided archaeologists with Fascinating examples of posthumous preservation, the discovery of red-haired mummies shows the way populations spread across the globe thousands of years ago. Celtic in origin, the finding of Chinese mummies from far-flung locations was covered in 2006 by the Independent. It writes about a reconstruction, stating the man's hair is reddish brown flecked with grey framing high cheekbones, a long nose, 
full lips and a ginger beard. When he lived 3000 years ago, he stood 6 feet tall and was buried wearing a red twill tunic and tartan leggings. He is referred to as a Chechen man and was first seen by modern civilization in 1978 in the arid area of Taran Basin, that's part of the Taklam Makan Desert, Western China. Chechen is the name of the river Oz, China town. Its famous visitor was and found a long sign three women plus and in faith. The article notes the baby was wrapped in a beautiful brown cloth toy with red and blue cord, then a blue stone placed on each eye. What brought these individuals to this inhospitable zone is unknown, but it gives expert an insight into the extraordinary journeys felt under the The Egyptians' mummies and solid mummies cemented the idea of mummification into the world consciousness. National Geographic rides celebrated by researchers for offering a window into the past and sensationalized by Hollywood, embalmed Egyptian corpuses or the cream de la cream of mummies. Pharaohs such as the legendary Tutankhamun and Ramesses II were sent on their journey to the next life gift, wrapped in linen and encased in a colorful sarcophagus. Though the glamorous image is affected by some of the some of the gruesome detail, most notably the liquefying of the brain, so it could be extracted through the nostril. But it wasn't just kings and high society who received this treatment. The animal kingdom played its part also. For example, mummified birds have been found on sites such as Tuna El Gabel in Middle Egypt. The famed necropolis of Khamun, millions of sacred Ibis birds were given the treatment in order to attract favors from the gods. Cats were also prized pets that got the mummy treatment. The Guardian quotes Kidamic Sally Vassal, who explains the Ibis was considered the god thought, the god of wisdom, the god of magic, the god of judgment writing all sorts of things if you had a boss that annoys you and you want fairness and justice you go and ask to to interfere and in return you promise to offer him an ibis a mummified ibis in his annual feast the best of the rest the mummified chest of a german d a bearded woman displayed during the exhibition Cabinets of curiosities at the Fonds Helen at Adore Le Croso. Head of Mummy of Pharaoh Seti the One of the New Kingdom, 19th Dynasty of Egypt, the son of Ramesses the One and Satire, and the father of the Ramesses the Two. When the end was near, National Geographic rise, the monks moved to a tomb, equipped with only an hair, ear tube and a bell. These devant men meditated ringing the bell each day to tell those on the outside they were still alive. When the bell stopped ringing, the ear supply was cut off and tomb was sealed. It was a hit and miss procedure and one that requires a level of dedication some would categorize as mind-boggling. Whoa, mama or indeed mummy.